Obvious, it's like mixed emotions. Looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, only if I can say so, we're shitting bricks. <laughs> no, it's been, it's been. Uh, there's this nervous energy in all of us, I guess, and uh, in a very positive way. We are looking forward to see the show. It releases tonight at 12. Uh, yeah. I mean, just looking forward to it. Yeah. Of course, there's this nervousness. I think we are all nervous because we have really worked very hard for this one. और मैं ये अकेले बैठ के देखने वाली हूँ सो दैट आई कैन मेक श्योर कि क्या काम मैंने अच्छा किया है क्या नहीं है यू नो छोटे छोटे पॉइंटर्स जो हम खुद रियलाइज़ कर लेते हैं वैर एस मुझे मेरे फ्रेंड्स बोल रहे हैं काम काम हम साथ में देख के साथ में बैठ के देखेंगे पर मैं उनके साथ नहीं देखने वाली बिकॉज आई नो वो सब मेरा मजाक उड़ाने वाले हैं कि तूने ये देख कैसे किया है सो so, yeah. आई थिंक uh, दो चीज़ें हैं एक तो जो प्रोसेस रहता है आई थिंक वी रियली इन्जॉयड द प्रोसेस तो आई थिंक कि दैट सो देज देज नो देज नो टेंशन दे इन द सेंस दैट वैन यू गेट इन टू अ प्रोजेक्ट यू ऑलवेज वार इट कि कैसा रहेगा हाउ विल द शूट एक्सपीरियंस भी हाउ विल द को एक्टर्स भी तो आई थिंक दैट दैट एक्सपीरियंस वॉज सो गुड कि एटलीस्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द जॉब इज डन वैन यू आर हैविंग अ गुड टाइम वर्किंग एंड आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ अस गॉड अलॉन्ग रियली वेल तो उसका एक मज़ा है एंड यू आर एक्साइटेड बिकॉज यू गॉट अ ग्रेट टीम टूगेदर तो वो एक्साइटमेंट है एंड आई थिंक कि हाँ यू वॉन्ट टू नो अट द ऑडियंस इज रिएक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी तो वो टेंशन तो होगा जरूर ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स फैमिली मेम्बर्स इवन पीपल फ्रॉम द इंडस्ट्री देव द लविंग द ट्रेलर द लविंग द वाइब ऑफ इट द लुक ऑफ इट एंड इवन द स्टोरी इट्स इट्स कमिंग अक्रॉस आई मीन इट्स वेरी मिस्टीरियस इट्स नॉट गिविंग अवे टू मच एट द सेम टाइम इज जस्ट to the point very crisp and even the song especially the song people are loving the song the title track so yeah i mean uh, that's what i have uh, heard yeah actually the response is pretty good even my friends they're saying that you know you इससे पहले जो मैं कैरेक्टर कर रही थी मैं उसमें बहुत अलग लग रही थी एंड जो अब मैं कैरेक्टर प्ले कर रही हूँ उसमें कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट लग रही हूँ और सब बोल रहे हैं देर दिस वेरी यंग एंड यूथफुल एनर्जी जो हम उस ट्रीजर और ट्रेलर में दिखी है एंड आई थिंक ऑडियंस ऑफ प्रिटी मच लाइक इट me gorav and my director and she made us hear the track and we were watching some scenes because we had gone that day for dubbing and it just uplifted the scenes you know and the romantic angle between sahir and roma so i just feel it has a um, you know you look out for music which has a lot of soul in it and fortunately i think this song does i mean that's what i've been hearing from people that it touches your soul you want to listen to it again and again you can relate to the song you can remember the lyrics so yeah i'm absolutely in love with the song show for the same platform boot which is asur 2 and there was this particular segment for which i had to put on weight i wasn't asked to but i felt if i do it'll add a lot of character to that particular uh, I mean, there's something which I can't really talk about. So it would add a lot of stuff. And while I was doing that, I got a call for this. And when I met the director and the producers, they told me that they need me to be in a certain shape, physicality. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like I've been hogging. I've been having my most favorite food since last uh, month, month and a half. And suddenly I'm required to. But luckily, I had again 20 days, and then the show got pushed by 10 more days. So it was, it was, it was really. Uh, I mean, I had to. I used to work out twice a day. I mean, mornings used to be uh, uh, like cardio's, empty stomach, and core training. And in the evening, it used to be uh, weight training. And I used to carry. Remember, for my workshops, I used to carry my dabba that I don't want to spoil yeah, my. Yeah, yeah. And and even during the shoot for next two months, uh, it had to be very disciplined. But you know, that's the fun of it. You know, I mean, these challenges. It just as an actor, it. मतलब वेट तो बढ़ा लिया था नाउ आई हैड मोटिवेशन टू गेट बैक इन शेप सो व्हिच इज गुड या देयर आर सो मेनी या या सो मेनी ऑफ देम जस्ट वन वन और टू शेयर गौरव यू आर वेरी गुड एट इट आई मीन सी सो फॉर एग्जांपल आई आई रिमेंबर व्हेन आई मेट आमना फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई मीन दैट वाज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई वाज मीटिंग माय डायरेक्टर प्रोड्यूसर एंड आई मेट हर एज वेल एंड इट वाज वेरी कॉर्डियल इन द बिगिनिंग we just said hi hello and then later on we started doing uh, reading sessions we used to sit like this in the office i mean she's sitting here i'm sitting here hi how are you where do you stay look in mala good that was the conversation we had but later on we realized that you know uh, the gravity that the situation that we are in and what is expected out of us that we need to i mean a lot depends on this so we started 
undergoing these workshops and that really helped us and i think on the last day of the or the, probably the in between the workshop i told her that i'm really glad that you are playing roma because what happens is as an actor i mean i think she's really hungry for work she really wants to do good work and she wants to go all out so that makes life of your co-actor easy that i you know i can experiment i can talk to her that listen should we do this so then with all of this happening it became very friendly with all of them actually i mean we had i had a different relation with pratibha me and gunal we don't really have too many scenes but <laughs> off the camera we used to i mean it was chill with the amount of work that he's done i mean it was really good to hear him talk he he's like if you see his body of work the amount of work he's done the people that he's been associated with so i mean i used to listen to him acha aur kya ho raha hai <laughs> so yeah i mean yeah for me uh, firstly to convince my family i knew i always knew that i wanted to be an actress like from the age of 6 7 i had started shooting this uh, videos of mine where i was i would dance like i actually collapsed once you know yeah because i did some there was this cousin's engagement and i said okay okay the videographer is coming and uh, i did some tense songs oh and by the end of it i was gone i actually fainted oh so anyway coming back to it um it wasn't really easy because i came from a very conservative muslim family to convince the entire family to get into acting you know that was the most difficult aspect and then uh, came to acting i didn't know i didn't have anyone to guide me i didn't go through any acting classes nothing and i was being called for an audition for my first show the very first show kahi to hoga somehow ekta saw something in me i guess i was terrible i couldn't even remember the lines i did the look test and then i was being given a screenplay and we were going to start shooting i went on the set mugging up the entire screenplay and i go there and they give me a scene and i'm like ye kya hai main to yaad kar ke ayo jo diya hai mujhe they said nahi aapko to scene karna hai i was so nervous because i was opposite rajiv khandelwal who is a fabulous actor and i just couldn't do it we had to can the shoot because i couldn't mug up that i was like nahi main ye kar ke ayo so yeah i mean a lot of things like this where you grow as a person as an actor so yeah we all have faced i think a lot of things in life to get your webia yeah. but today when you guys look back at your yeah. journeys which moments do you consider as your highest high and the lowest lows highest high for me my first show yeah i mean it was like a overnight like people loved kashish mm -hmm. and sujal and that i i never experienced that kind of a thing so that would be my highest high probably the lowest low um would be the phase where you know we all struggle we all don't get the right kind of content and the work that we look out for and we say no for it and we go through our own set of insecurities then so i think yeah we i mean i have gone through um those phases which has been like a low phase for me highs to bhi dekhi nahi hai just starting out <laughs> lot to see uh lows in fact uh, lows were then when the work wasn't the kind of work wasn't happening that i wanted to do but to be honest those failures have actually taught me the most so i won't even say that those were my low days i mean that i would call that that was my golden period i mean that's where i've learned everything about my craft that is when i actually got into it uh, so yeah highs to be ana baki hain hopefully <laughs> yeah uh mera highest high wo hai जब मैं शिमला से आई थी और मुझे ये फ्रीडम दी थी कि गोल लिव योर पैशन दैट वॉज जब मुझे ऐसा लगा था कि ओके okay, मैं अब अपने उस रास्ते पे निकल गई हूँ एंड लो इस लो आते रहते हैं एंड आई थिंक मेरे लिए वो है स्टेइंग अवे फ्रॉम योर फैमिली यू नो डूइंग एवरीथिंग ऑन योर ओन वो इंडिपेंडेंट भी तुम्हें बहुत ज़्यादा बनाता है बट एन एट टाइम्स यू नो यू वॉन्ट योर फैमिली टू बी अराउंड यू वॉन्ट दैट केयर एंड पैम्परिंग वैन यू कम बैक फ्राम अ लॉन्ग डे ऑफ शूट यू वॉन्ट की कोई तुम्हें यू नो प्यार से खाना खिला दे बट एन एट टाइम्स यू नो यू हैव टू डू एवरी थिंग ऑन योर ओन सो आई थिंक वो मेरी लाइफ में थोड़े लोएस्ट लोज रहे बाकी काम आ रहा है आई एम ग्रैबिंग द अपॉर्चुनिटी वो हर एक अपॉर्चुनिटी यू नो आई मेक इट लाइक ओके माई हाइस्ट हाई सो आई डोंट नो आई आई डोंट नो अबाउट हाइस्ट हाईज एंड लोएस्ट लोज आई I I don't I I I don't let any high get too high or any low get too low. I think I I like that equilibrium of it not really mattering that much. I I'm not saying that not having work doesn't affect me. Of course you get depressed, you get like not the right role or not the right time. Of course you get those those moments of self-doubt are always there. But but you don't 
gauge your life by purely this one thing. Yeah, that's all.